well 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 here we are on this gorgeous day and today we're going to talk about the art of getting rich in 2020 what you need to do to get that money we're going to go in a sequential process of things that you need to do to position yourself to get that money so one of the first things you need to do is change your mindset now if you have an average person mindset you will not position yourself to get this money in 2020 you have to change your mindset you're going to have to reinvent reformat reset clear up your mindset and put yourself in the position where you can get you a new bag because if you feel the only way to get money is to get a job or to work overtime you are screwed this is where i used to be i used to feel that if i wanted more money i had to work harder i had to work longer hours that is not going to cut it for you to get rich in 2020. so the first thing you're gonna have to do is wake up and tell yourself that i have the ability to create value in the world I have the ability to go ahead and begin to build networks, processes, systems, businesses. See, one of the things that you're going to, have to do, and this is going to be a hard journey, is you're going to have to retrain your mental. And when I mean retrain your mental, I'm talking about it's like you're going to have to go back to elementary school, middle school and high school on adjusting your mindset because the mindset is where everything begins i want you to understand every time you get in your car and you go into the city and you see all of these skyscrapers all of, each one of those skyscrapers begin as an ideal someone had an ideal someone like well i want to build a skyscraper that's 100 stories tall someone had that as a concept then they put that concept to paper they got an architect to design it then they went out and sold the ideal to investors and people put the money up and they built the building see this is the mindset that you have to have because i know right now many of you are living in a bad situation many of you don't have no money and that is your now that is your current situation and it is your most pressing thought process and see what you got to do is got to like well this is now this will not be later this will not be the future this will not be what my future legacy is going to be this is now but the future is going to be bigger. It's going to be brighter. It's going to be greater. So this is going to take up a lot of time because, you know, whenever people, you know, on YouTube, they, you know, someone talks about mindset, a lot of people go ahead and poo poo it. Cause it's like, just go ahead and give me the details. Go ahead and give me the dirt on how to do X, Y, and Z. I don't need any of this mindset stuff. And I'm going to tell you why you need the mindset stuff and why you need to do the work, build a proper mindset. We've heard of all of these lottery winners who have went broke after winning millions and millions of dollars. So I want you to look at it is like if someone goes ahead and gives you the down and dirty details how to do it and you don't get the mindset training. You're going to be just like these lottery winners. You're going to get all of this money and then you're going to lose it because you don't have the proper mindset. It's going to be the same thing. And this is why so many people who have been there, who have done it, who understand the process, all talk about mindset. And so many people just don't want to do it because, see, the mindset thing is it's invisible. It's something that you have to work on daily. It is something that you have to build yourself on. And because the mindset cannot be measured, it can't be observed. It can't be quantified. The only thing that you realize a person with the right mindset 
has is results. So the only thing that you can measure are the results. And this is where so many people have such a difficult time embracing the concept of mindset development. I have an audio book and I have a course, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mindset for Success, that will open up your eyes to the power of mindset. The link's below. And so many people do not want to do this hard work because you're going to have to work hard on yourself. You're going to have to work hard on your mental in advance of the money. And I'm not talking about like a week or two either. I'm talking about like when I made the adjustment and I started making better decisions, it was like six months before I started to see some results. And the average person after 30 days, 60 days, they start wavering. They start like, ah, I can't do it. It's too hard. And it's just a matter of discipline. It's a matter of programming your mind for success. So that's the first thing you got to do. First thing, work on that mindset because I want you to understand. I want you to, if you're sitting down at home or wherever you are, I want you to look around the room. Everything that you have, everything that you will have, everything that you own, your current situation, is all due to your current mindset. And unless you change that mindset, your environment, your situation ain't gonna change. It's just not gonna change. All right, so that's the first thing. So work on the mindset. So the second thing you need to do to the art of getting rich in 2020 is you have got to build yourself an economic vehicle. This could be stock. This could be a business. This could be land. You must construct one. Once again, let's understand this. You have a job. You can go do your job. You can also probably do your job on all the pilot. So you're keeping your job. You're not quitting your job. Then in your time when you're not at the job working for the man, you will be working on your economic device, whatever that may be. It may be a blog. It may be a YouTube channel. It could be a Facebook group. It could be a, a web page. It could be e whatever. And you need to devote uh, a lot of time to putting together your economic device. And let's go ahead and talk about this because here's the real news. I know here on YouTube and Facebook, you're bombarded with ads that you can go ahead and create an economic device and be making 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 in just a matter of weeks. Um, no, that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to come off from your job. And you're going to begin working on your economic device and you're looking at a two to five year journey. Now here's the good news. Does two to five years are going to pass regardless of the fact if you're doing something or not. Those two to five years are going to go by anyway, whether you're actively working on your economic device or not. So that's the good news. This time is going to pass. You're going to get older. You're going to get a little longer in the tooth. And I want you to think right now you're living in a crappy apartment. You're driving a 20 year old car. You got bills out the yin yang and each day is a struggle. I want you to do this. I want you to do this right now. Stop this video, go grab a sheet of paper and say five and at the top of the sheet of paper right then five years from my life will be better. I will be financially solvent. I will have money. I will be able to do what I want. I will not be in debt. Just write all of your goals down on a sheet of paper and start working on them because this is where the art of getting rich gets tricky. The work portion, the have to sit down and do consistent work because the capacity, the mindset, all that stuff comes before the money. And so many people, it's just like, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money. 
That's why so many people are starting OnlyFans pages, uh, doing demon time on Instagram, because it's quick, fast money. But see, this is the thing with quick, fast money. Quick, fast money usually is accompanied by a quick, fast money attitude. And one of the things that happens is people tend to spend this money as quick as it comes. There's no plan. There's no savings account. There's nothing. They just out here living their lives, spending their money. So now you're working on your economic device. Now, something else that you need to be doing, and this should have been step two, but I'm going to put it, you know, step two, just go ahead and do this. You need to start managing the money that you make correctly. Now, what does this mean? You do not use your income today for goodies in the future, i.e. you are heavily leveraged with credit. This is one of the worst mistakes that so many people do, that they will go ahead and spend $50,000 today for future enjoy, you know, for, for well, they will spend 50 to $100,000 today well, they will spend it. Well, let, let me say it, put it this way. They will leverage the future for today. That's what I want to say. They will leverage the future for the day. So something that could cost you $20,000, they will pay $40,000 because they want to get it on credit. Which let me say this again something that if they had cash money today to go ahead and drop it and they will pay forty thousand dollars for that same item because of the small payments over time but they'll pay twice as much for an item as they have to because they have no cash i want you to think about that i want you really really to think about that it is this is why so many people never reach the status of being rich because they're leveraging the future for today. Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but you could be in the position to pay cash for a house. I know you're like, whoa, 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 what? That's going to take entirely too long. See, this is the reason you build the economic device. Once you start a business, you're going to make three to a hundred times more money than the average person. And one of the things is that you've got to stop doing when you get your money life together is to stop leveraging the future for today for bad credit decisions. Now, if you were going to take advantage of like say one of this this SBA loan which is to me a, a good deal because they give you 30 years to pay it back at 3.5 percent interest and you don't have to start making payments for a year if you were to get some kind of loan like that to enhance or create or start your business to me that is good debt because you're taking this loan and you're using it to create income. The whole goal of this loan is to put it into an income producing asset to make more money. To me, that's good debt. Foolish debt, car payments. Foolish debt, credit card payments. Foolish debt, HELOCs to <clears throat> buy a boat or HELOCs to buy an RV. Foolish debt. And this is one of the biggest issues that we have with people who are going out and they're, they're a slave to their wants and desires and they have no discipline. And this is one of the reasons that so many people are poor. They never get to the rich stage because they don't have any discipline. They don't have the mindset and more importantly, they don't have an economic device. The economic device is critical to you becoming successful. 
2020, the year of the murder hornet, the year of the pandemic, the year of the most highest unemployment ever, is still a great year for you to begin the process of getting rich. Once again, this is the year because everything's on sale. And in time, things will recover their value. Like right now, the stock market is doing double monkey backflips. And one of the things that you have to understand is either you're going to play the game or the game is going to play you. See, there's no middle ground because I mean, you know, like a lot of people want to opt out. I'm not competing. You know, it's like these women. I'm not competing with these 21 year olds. Yes, you are. Because when this dude is looking at women, he's looking at these women, 21 years old or whatever age you are, you're in the mix, whether you want to be or not. And the smart women know this and the smart women are working out. They're doing what they need to do to make themselves more attract sexually attractive. And the stupid women are just sitting back being mad because they're not being picked because they don't want to play the game. See, you, you play the game or the game plays you economically that's the choice you have so either you're going to start playing this game get yourself some assets land stocks business gold silver you, you're going to have to get yourself some assets you're going to have to get yourself some things that are going to make you money because one of the things that folks don't understand nor realize is the power of an income producing asset or what I like to call an economic device. These economic devices can literally change your life, change the life of your children, change the life of your family, change everyone's life. And a big part of this is understanding what is going on understanding what is happening and understanding the game and understanding how the game is played understanding the way that we do what we need to do so that's all i got for you guys so for you to start playing the game i want you to go below and get the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success i want you to go to below and get the 30 days to 2500 i want you to go ahead and get that and that's for you folks who don't have no money this is for you folks who are in a situation where you need help go ahead i've been there i know it's like not to have no money Go ahead and get that and begin to build your economic devices. Begin to start planning because, you know, today is horrible, but the future doesn't have to be. And for those of you who need additional help and want to hop on the phone, who want to accelerate and build up your business, I want you to go ahead and go below and pick out one of the consulting packages. This is another thing that we've got going on where you can accelerate, where I can sit down and help you develop your business and go over your business development plans or in fact, help you write up. Now, let's talk about this. I have a video on Savage Finance talking about you should not write your business plan until you started the business and you have real numbers to work with. So I want you to start your business because, you know, some people kind of push back like a business plan could you know be revised. And I'm like, OK, a business plan, in my opinion, could be just a waste of time until you get real market data, market data with the customers, with the marketplace, with real pricing, because you can have an ideal in your head that sounds brilliant. And then you put it out there to the marketplace and no one buys. And it's like, well, they ain't gonna work, but you've got this beautiful business plan that you spent months working on. Where if you had spent that same time 
in the marketplace, you will have learned so much more, so much faster, you've been in a better position. So this is one of the things that we will be talking about because I'm getting ready to start having some additional classes on things that are going to be happening with your business because this is 2020. You could get rich in 2020 if you're positioned, if you're playing the game, if you know how to manage your money, this is the time to get it. So that's all I got for you. Be sure to watch the next video.